Addy, all lovely to see you all again. Apologies to everyone getting sick of the Avenged Sevenfold lessons, but I have had a lot of requests for this one. And no apologies to you guys who are really excited about it. We're going to be looking at the solo from To End the Rapture. Let's take a look. Alright gangsters, I hope you're excited, but let's talk about the tuning. We're in drop D, which goes D, A, D, G, B, E. So get yourself in tune and we'll get started. Alright guys, let's have a look at the first section. I want to start off with a slide into three of the second string. I'm going to hit three two more times and then play five, six. So all together. Then I work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm going to slide into five of the third string and then play six, eight on the second. I hit eight again and slide to ten. And then play eight on the second string. So it'll go. You can add some sexy vibrato at the end of that. And then I'm going to slide backwards from eight to six. Also on the second string. And then I want to play five as a regular note. And then play it as a semitone bend. So we've got... At the end of that, I'm going to play three of the second string and five of the third twice. But the second time I hit the five, I'm going to do a slide into seven. That's the whole first half of this section. Let's take it slowly. Hopefully that's all making sense. And then I want to borrow the first couple of notes that we had for the start of the second section. I'm just going to play that three once. I'm going to go three, five, six. Then after that, I've got a bit of a slide into five of the second string. I'm going to play five, six, and then jump to eight of the first string. You'll notice that I changed my fingering because trying to do that uh, with my ring and my middle and the pinky is pretty stupid. So I've got... After I've hit eight of the first string... I'm going to go up to 10, and then we're going to work into this big run. So let's have a look at what we've got thus far of the second half. Okay, after that, I work into this run. Okay, it's pretty fast, yes, but the concept's quite easy. I'm going to play 5, 7, 8 on the 5th string twice. Same on the 4th. Double 5, 7, 8, and also the same on the 3rd. So I've just got sort of straight 16th triplets going across three strings, um, playing two triplets on each, and it's just the same thing three times. When I get to the second string, I'm going to change to five, six, eight, which is going to use my point in my middle and my pinky. I'm going to do that twice. And then when I get to the first string, I'm going to do an even slower triplet. So I'm going to go to an eighth triplet, and it's going to slow things down a little bit. And I'm only going to do that triplet once, which is five, six, eight. So we're going to do sort of two quick shreds on every string from the fifth to the second, and then a slower triplet on the first. And that's the whole first section. Let's take it slowly from the start, and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. Okay, let's have a look at the start of the second section. I'm going to start with a backward slide from 10 of the first string. Then I want to slide into 10 of the second and the first string as a double stop. And then when I get to that double stop chord, I'm going to hit that once and then just play 10 of the first string twice. This is what we should have so far. At the end of that, 
I'm going to play 12 to 13 on the first string. And that's going to kind of mimic the that melody we had way back at the start. So all together, at the end of that, I'm going to slide into 13 of the second string. Then I play 13 of the first. Now I'm going to kind of pedal off this 13 of the second string. So I'm going to go... After I return to that note, I'm going to jump to 15 of the first. Then I want to play 13 one more time, but then I'm going to do a bend on 15 of the first. So I want to bend that up and then back down to a rest position and add some cheeky vibrato. So all together. Let's have a look at what we've got thus far from the start and then we'll work through that hilarious shred. This is where things get a little live in la vida loca. I want to start off from 20 of the first string. I'm going to play 20, 18, 17. And then from the next string, I'm going to have a group of seven notes. I'm going to roll backwards and forwards. 20, 18, 17, 18, 20, 18, 17. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So all together, at the end of that, I'm working forwards from 13, 15, 17 on the second. Okay, hopefully that's making sense. Next chunk, I'm going to do a rolling group of five from the first string. I'm going to play 13, 15, 17, and then reverse that 17, sorry, 15, 13. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then I've got a rolling group of seven from the second string, playing 17, 15, 13, 15, 17, 15, 13. And that's going to go like this. So when we're rolling, we're usually doing a group of five or seven with sort of three note per string patterns. So here we go. This is what we should have thus far from the start of the shred. Okay, to finish that off, I work into this. So what I'm playing here is basically an ascend. There are a couple of slight pauses in it, but it's not too ridiculous. I want to play 12, 14, 15 on the third string. Then 13, 15, 17 twice on the second. And then when I get to the first, 13, 15, 17, just once. And that's the whole second section. So let's take it relatively slowly from the start and then we'll put it together even slower with tabs. One more time with some tabs. Alright guys, let's have a look at section three. I'm gonna start off with some cheeky taps. I'm gonna have my left hand, or my fretting hand for those lefties out there, playing 13, 12, and 10. I'm gonna start off with a quick double tap on 17 of the first string, and then I'm just gonna roll backwards. Okay, then after that, I'm gonna play 15 twice with my tap and then do the same roll. So back to back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one of each fret and then the roll. Okay, so all together, at the end of that, what I'm doing here is a slide tap from 17 to 18 on the second string. Then when I pull off that tap, I'm going to be on 13 and roll back 11 to 10. So you'll notice that my fretting hand has changed very slightly. So I've got, after that, I'm going to do a double tap from 15 and then roll backwards. And I do a very similar idea here, but I'm going to do the double tap. You'll notice on the second tap, I've gone back to 10 of the second string and then I roll forward. So I'm going to go. So we're going to have two taps that end on 13. Then a roll backwards. Then two taps, one goes 13 to 10 and then it rolls forward. So we'll go. Now at full speed, you can't really hear it. So you can probably just get away with going. But uh, if we want to be hilariously exact, that's what's going on. So let's have a look at what we've got thus far from the start of the section. Okay, the next bit is relatively simple. We're continuing that left-handed shape there. I'm doing double tap from 17 with a roll, backwards roll rather, and then a double tap from 18. Nice and simple. Sorry. Straight backwards, I added a cheeky roll forwards, which is about to happen. What I've got here is three taps from 20 of the first string. 
And then from 13 over here, you'll notice that I'm using my pointer so that I can roll forwards, which is gonna go 13, 15, 17. Okay, after that, I wanna play this. So what I've got here is I'm tapping 21 and that's rolling forwards and backwards. So I tap 21 on the second string. And then I've got a rolling group of five playing 13, 15, 17, 15, 13. So let's go from that triple tap. One, two, three. Okay, hopefully that's making sense. Let's go back to the start of the section before we add the crazy end and then we'll put it all together. Sorry, double tap on 21. Okay, the next part that I do, uh, this is a little bit strange. I'm gonna do a double tap on 22 and I'm pulling off to that 13 again and I'm gonna do four notes on my left hand. So I'm gonna play 13, 15, 17 and then pull off to the 13 again. Okay, then the same idea with the double tap from 20. So we'll do that back to back. Okay, now the next bit I do, what I'm doing is I'm doing one of each tap, 22 and then 20, both pulling off to 13. Then I have a rolling group of seven on my left hand. So I'm gonna go 13, 15, 17, 15, 13, 15, 17, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just forwards and backwards twice. So we've got, to finish that off, I'm gonna tap 20. And then I'm gonna pull off to 17 and hammer 18, 20. So it goes at the end of that. I'm gonna to jump to 22 of the first string and tap it, but you can add vibrato or sort of a bendy idea from your left hand, from your fretting hand. It's too hard to tap in and then use this to do something sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? Accurate and expressive. So if I do that, let your fretting hand do the talking, so to speak. That's the whole section. Let's do it relatively slowly and then try it again with some tabs. One more time with some taps. And that was the solo from To End The Rapture. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please check the links in the description box to my Facebook page and also to my Patreon. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon.